once upon a full moon, in the coziest household of wonderful fun, Dreamer the Sleepy Dog was practicing his sleep meditation for kids, to go on amazing dream adventures, and to really relax so very well. Because, as you will learn during this calming bedtime story, after much mischief and cheeky play throughout the day, Dreamer the Sleepy Dog just loves to plonk down on his soft and safe dog bed and enjoy lots of happy, adventurous dreams. And as you may have guessed, that is how he got his name. And to begin being all dreamy, he closes his drowsy eyes, rests his sleepy paws, and lets his body go all floppy, just like a cat, although he wouldn't like us saying that. And if you would like to meet Dreamer very soon, and go on an exciting journey, just rest your eyes by closing your eyelids, and begin to take some deep breaths in and out. Simply inhale through your nose, and feel your belly expand like a balloon. And then let the air flow out. Brilliant, very well done. Again, take a deep, healthy breath in through your nose, filling your belly with air. And now let the air flow gently out. Fantastic! Dreamer would be most proud of you. Just breathe naturally now, as you enjoy this enchanting feeling of lovely, dreamy relaxation. Now if you are someone who loves puppies, and dogs, and all animals great and small, you are about to really enjoy this sleep meditation tale. Because as you get dreamier and cozier, and begin to feel light as a cloud, Dreamer the Sleepy Dog will very soon take you on a most marvellous adventure through your wonderful imagination. Firstly, Dreamer asks if you can imagine and see twinkling starlight surrounding your whole body. These glittering beams of starlight are the energy of pure love and will keep you perfectly safe on this journey and beyond. Can you feel this magical, relaxing energy? Fantastic, that's great. And now, much to your surprise, you easily imagine the room around you begins to fade away. And you gradually find yourself standing in the middle of a huge, peaceful park. You gaze up and see the sky is beautifully blue, with fluffy white clouds floating through the air. The sun feels warm upon your face, and a gentle breeze dances through your hair. This parkland appears to be at the edge of an enchanted looking forest. You look around and see wise old trees 
surrounding this big open field of softest green grass. This place is truly magnificent. If you could design the perfect parkland in your mind, it would look just like this. And just when you thought this park was empty, all of a sudden, you see a creature bounding towards you through the grass. It's a very happy dog. You can see that he's older than a puppy, but not quite yet fully grown. And he is so bursting with energy and joy that you can't help but smile as you feel your lips curl up in happiness. He arrives to where you are and prances around you and woofs to tell you his name is Dreamer. And you find yourself making a woofing sound softly in reply to tell him your name. You can easily speak the dog language here in this dreamland. How fun! You reach out and pat Dreamer's softest fur, noticing that his dark coat turns white at his paws. This white fur makes him look as though he is wearing socks. How cute! Dreamer woofs again to tell you he is keen to give you a grand tour of this dreamy parkland and show you how dogs like to play. Dreamer suddenly challenges you to a running race to the forest edge and he bolts off running so fast through the grass. You quickly realise and immediately run as fast as you can gaining on him and catching up until you run right alongside one another. Dreamer gives you a cheeky grin and moves even faster. So now you run with all of your might, feeling so fast you are almost flying as you race forth, keeping up with Dreamer until you both reach the forest edge in a tie. Breathless, you fall into the grass and lie back laughing at how much fun that was. You gaze up and notice the shady branches of the wise old trees swaying here in the gentle wind at the edge of the forest. With a little bark, Dreamer communicates that he wishes to show you how to choose the perfect stick for fetch as he trots deeper into this woodland. With a deep breath, you follow him between the trees, feeling very curious for what you might discover here. And Dreamer guides you to explore the fallen branches of the tall green trees. Recycling the timber to find what is not too heavy and not too light. Not too big, but not too little. Just the right size for the jaws and the paws. 
And so, after finding the perfect natural wooden stick, you play the games of catch and fetch here in the green forest. You throw this stick so far and so high and even around tree trunks. But good old dreamer bounds about and catches the stick every time. What a clever dog. You see fresh forest flowers are sprouting up everywhere. This really is the healthiest, happiest place in nature. As you continue to play fetch, you travel deeper and deeper into the woodland. until together you arrive at the base of the biggest tree you have ever seen. Its ancient trunk is thick and strong. Its branches reach up to the very top of the forest and high into the sky above. With a happy wag of his tail, Dreamer shows you a hidden hollow in the enormous tree trunk. An opening big enough to climb into. How mysterious. Together, you climb all the way inside. And it is very cosy, like a smooth chamber or tree cave, lit from within by gorgeous glowworms. To your amazement, you see that this ancient tree has paw prints and carvings of other dogs that must have been here too. This is the tree hollow of blessings. How special. Dreamer tells you this wise and loving tree blesses all creatures with confidence, happiness, love, great health, and a wonderful life. You feel very lucky, blessed, and deeply grateful to be here in this remarkably special place. When you have enjoyed enough time in this tree hollow of blessings, you climb on out and say thank you to this tree by giving it a huge hug. Dreamer puts his paws around the trunk and does the same. Dreamer seems very happy to have a playmate in you, a friend he can count on to have so much fun and share these special experiences with. Because now he leads you on another little adventure. And so you take another deep breath and follow Dreamer through the trees towards the soothing sound of running water. And now you see a creek, a clear babbling brook of calming, cascading water.
with a happy grin, Dreamer teaches you how to go hopping and skipping over stones in this creek. He shows you how to wait very still on a rock and then pounce to catch beautiful butterflies and buzzing dragonflies gently in your paws and then release them back into the wild to fly away and be so free. Watching them makes you feel so free in your heart, and this is all becoming a happy blur of dreamy, wonderful fun. You have some time now to explore some more with Dreamer, and when you hear my voice returning to this tale, you will feel even sleepier and so very ready to return home to bed. And after a wonderful adventure in the forest of happy dreams, you see Dreamer the sleepy dog is looking extra sleepy. And you feel very tired now too. And so Dreamer woofs goodbye and leads you to the top of a little grassy hill. where you both roll downwards, faster and faster, downwards and down, all the way to town, and all the way home. Until it's all a brilliant blur, and you think you may already be asleep and dreaming so very well. Because you feel your own warm, safe, cosy bed supporting you and helping you fall fast asleep right now. Just like Dreamer on his soft little dog bed snoozing the night away.
and as you shift deeper into your most wonderfully relaxing sleep, you feel very safe and very loved, very confident and so good about yourself. Because you know you are a great friend. All creatures love being friends with you. And Dreamer the Sleepy Dog would love to take you on more happy adventures anytime you wish. Sweet dreams, dear child. And Good night. Welcome to Happy Minds and this guided sleep meditation for kids to fall asleep and dream the night away in the most enchanting way. Now I really do hope you like fairy tales and stories of magic and mystery because if you do, this meditation is perfect for you to listen along with those you love. So simply close your eyes and settle in for a most cosy and comfortable adventure through your wonderful imagination. And really begin to relax now by breathing in deeply all the way down to your belly. And now let that air flow out gently. That's great. Take another deep, calming breath in. And slowly breathe out. And again, breathe in deeply. And breathe out calmly. Fantastic! You're doing this meditation brilliantly. And just continue to breathe naturally now, however it feels good for you. Because the more you feel good and relax, in your mind and in your body, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the more relaxed you are right now becoming. In fact, you may even notice you are beginning to feel so light as light as the air you are breathing. Like you are weightless and able to fly. As you now imagine floating up, up and up into the air. As you do this, you realize you are surrounded by a glowing ball of golden white starlight, keeping you safe and taking you on an adventure. To your surprise, your ball of light now flies you through the air slowly at first, 
and then faster and faster, whisking you away into the unknown. And at any moment, you may drift off to sleep as you follow my voice to a land of wonder where absolutely anything is possible and where the magic of life dances in the air and where the most marvellous place of happiness awaits you. And to your amazement, you see below, you are flying over an enchanted forest and feeling so happy and free. You look down over the wise old trees, so green and kind and you observe this beautiful far away forest from high up above. And you begin to imagine a brilliant castle in your mind's eye. And you really start to see it now the most magnificent castle you have ever seen. It is surrounded by mist at the very edge of this enchanted faraway forest right below you. As you gaze downwards, you admire this castle has turrets and towers, tall strong walls made of stone with green flowering vines. To your delight, you see it is surrounded by a moat with blue shimmering water. And now you notice, behind the castle, a glorious gardens with a mystical hedge maze. Amazing! And so, you feel drawn towards this mysterious, magical castle sensing that it is inviting you to explore inside. So as you choose to float down in your golden ball of light, moving closer and closer towards the castle grounds, you begin to imagine what you might discover there. As you drift downwards and float deeper and deeper into this lovely, inviting landscape. And now you float over the moat and over the drawbridge until you land gently, feeling the smooth cobblestones of the old castle grounds under your feet. Instantly, you feel so peaceful, so relaxed and safe here, inside the strong stone walls 
of this amazing place. Like you were meant to be here, in this very moment, right here, right now. You begin to look around in delight, wondering if this fantasy castle could even be from a fairy tale. Why yes, absolutely. You hear a small voice pop into your mind. How strange. This little voice continues to tell you that this castle is from many fairy tales and has been the home to much magic and mystery throughout the ages. You search around for where this voice is coming from and suddenly you see an elf grinning down at you from a tower window. You see he is about the same age as you and has very pointy ears, a kind little face with sparkling eyes that shine with mischief and joy. He waves and tells you to follow the spiralling staircase up the tower and suddenly the wooden door bursts open, welcoming you inside. So with a deep breath, feeling very excited, you step inside and begin to climb this stone spiral staircase around and around, feeling more and more curious with every step you take. And now you reach this elf and he smiles even wider and tells you his special elf name. You really hear it so clearly in your mind. And you introduce yourself too. You notice the way he is dressed looks a little magical and perhaps from a different time in history. But there's no time now to dwell on such things because your elf friend tells you he is the official castle guide. And right now it is officially time for fun. Together you explore the rooms and towers which are so big and decorated with wall hangings, tapestries, paintings and carved wooden furniture from the Middle Ages. Golden mirrors and painted scenes of battles and celebrations adorn the walls. Every room is different and filled with colour and festive fun. You peer inside a bedroom and see a four-poster bed with velvet cushions and colourful stained glass windows. It looks so cosy and fancy, fit for a king or queen, a prince or princess, 
and you feel even more relaxed here. In this dreamy fairy tale castle of wonder. With your elf guide, together you climb upwards and upwards. All the way to the highest turret. And now you look over the land below, through an old telescope made of brass. Through the lens, you can see across the enchanted forest very clearly. All the way to the misty mountains in the far distance. And you feel very surprised to spot a huge, colourful dragon flying far away, circling its mountain lair. Wow! Your elf friend opens a curtain hanging on the battlement wall to reveal a secret slippery slide built long ago. So with a swish and a whoosh, you glide down the slide faster and faster, curling around and around all the way down and going so fast you feel so happy and free. Sliding and gliding and curling around until you land in a heap on a clump of soft grass at the entrance to the enchanting hedge maze. So now you run and race through the hedge maze, loving all the tricky twists and turns, and hidden corners within these high green hedges. It is so much fun to explore. You almost get lost in all of this fun until you cleverly find your way out on the other side. Laughing and giggling and laughing some more with your new hilarious elf friend. Now at the edge of the hedge maze you make another very exciting discovery. Right before you is a magical garden party for fairy tale folk. And it looks like you might just be invited. And it is here where you have the most fun possible. You skip along to this party on the back garden with a jumping castle. Hot air balloon rides. A merry-go-round. A ferris wheel. and fairy floss in flavours so delicious 
they taste like pure, divine nectar. You meet lots of magic folk who are here for a good time. More elves, pixies, fairies, unicorns, and of course, your favourite characters from every fairy tale you remember. This is simply marvellous, and you wonder if it's all a dream. And just when your heart is so filled with joy, you see fireworks, a super splendid, spectacular display of colourful fireworks, especially for you and your new fairy tale friends. These glorious colours light up the sky, and as you watch these magical fireworks, you believe that anything is possible for you. And so, you make a special wish in your heart, right now. And as you send this wish off to come true, you have some time now to keep having fun. And when my voice returns, it will be time to happily return home to sleep. With the castle party finishing up now, you know that it is time to return home for a blissful night's sleep. And so you say thank you to your elf friend for the most wonderful adventure 
and you wave goodbye to these super fun fairy tale creatures and magical characters. You begin to feel so very tired and sleepy, so you drift up into the air, floating and flying home over the enchanted faraway forest. Drifting and dreaming and floating and flying along until you gently land to rest in your warm, safe, cozy bed. As soon as your head touches your pillow, you fall fast asleep into the loveliest, deepest, most magical slumber. You feel these soft covers keep you so warm and your heart feels so full of joy and pure divine happiness. And so now, feeling very loved you drift deeper into your wonderful dreams. Perhaps even dreaming of an enchanted castle with a friendly, happy elf waiting for you to visit any time you wish. Sweet dreams to all, and to all a good night. Snoozy Tail the Squirrel just loves to go on dreamy nighttime adventures in the hidden forest. And tonight, you are invited to join along for a most enchanted journey in this fun and relaxing sleep meditation for kids. Because this marvelous bedtime story is full of squirreling about and enjoying lots of cheeky mischief and fluffy, furry fun. So snuggle under the covers and get all cosy and comfortable as you prepare to visit the enchanted hidden forest where absolutely anything is possible. Gently close your eyes as you begin to feel all drowsy, dreamy and sleepy. Which is the best way to be when you meet Snoozy Tail, the sneakiest, snooziest squirrel of them all. Now take three deep breaths in and out, breathing all the way down to your belly filling your lungs with healthy air 
and now letting that air flow calmly out. Excellent. Again, take a deep belly breath in. Hold it at the top and let it go as you feel your body relaxing so very well. And one more time, a big breath in through your nose and a slower, easier, gentle breath out through your mouth. And just breathe naturally now, however feels best for you. Brilliant. You're really good at this meditation. Now make sure you're listening in very closely, because in your imagination, you may start to see what the magical hidden forest looks like. In your mind's eye, you can see and imagine a healthy green woodland as old as time. With floating forest mists, tall ancient trees, and clear flowing streams. And you sense that this is a safe and loving place where all animals are welcome to live in freedom, harmony, and happiness. And now you may imagine standing here in this beautiful woodland, right next to the biggest, most magnificent oak tree in the whole entire forest. Your bare feet touch the earth and you feel the softest green grass beneath your toes. This is called earthing, connecting you here to Mother Nature. You instantly feel calm and full of wonder, quite excited to see what you just might discover here. It is evening time and starlight twinkles through the oak tree's branches and the full moon glows with a silvery sheen. It's almost as if there's a little bit of forest magic in the air. And all of a sudden, you hear a little rustle in the leaves above you, as well as some sniffing and snuffling noises. You gaze up and see, hanging upside down at the very end of a branch, is a bushy-tailed, bright-eyed, and brave little squirrel, reaching out for the last acorn as far as it can stretch, until the acorn now breaks off and falls away through the air straight towards you, and you quickly catch it in your hands. This most surprised squirrel rushes down the tree trunk and across the grass, looking at you very curiously and eyeing its acorn eagerly. 
You admire its reddish chestnut coat. Cute little paws. And the most magnificent, curly-whirly, fluffiest tail you have ever seen. And so, with a deep breath, you decide to hold the acorn out as a little squirrel gift. And before you can blink, with a swish of its tail and a quick dart of its paws, the squirrel snatches it away and clutches it happily in its claws. Grateful for its precious acorn, this cute creature now says thank you in a squeaky little voice and tells you her name is Snoozy Tail. And so you introduce yourself to Snoozy Tail the Squirrel too. And this friendly squirrel hops up and down and seems very excited to make your acquaintance and to have a new forest friend to go foraging with on new adventures. Much to your surprise, in a magical flourish, she moves her majestic bushy tail in a swishy, curly wave. And in the starlight, you can see sparkles of brilliant energy, like an enchanting, squirrely spell. Because all of a sudden, you shrink down to be the same size as your new friend. And you happily discover you even have a big bushy tail of your own. Snoozy Tail takes you climbing now up the oak tree to learn the secret squirreling ways. You follow along to her scratching and scraping gripping and hopping ways, climbing up this strong, wise oak tree. And you know she is always close by, from the familiar sounds of her squirrely sniffing and secretive snuffling. And much to your delight, you find that you can now hang upside down on branches so easily with your tail. You now have perfect balance. And you are able to climb so much faster as it propels you forward. Your tail can even wrap around you like a furry cloak, keeping you so cosy and warm. This is so much fun to be squirreling about, and you happily join your new furry friend for a magical adventure through the night forest. Snoozy Tail shows you some special places where other creatures of the night are nesting and resting. Together you are being a little bit cheeky and extremely sneaky. But always with great fun and respect for the other animals of the peaceful woodland. You climb higher up 
in this oak tree. So very high in the protective leafy folds of the glistening moonlit branches. And this is where Snoozy Tail shows you a night owl's nest. You peer inside and see adorable baby owls, their wide eyes looking extra round with great surprise to see you. And they hoot happily to greet you. Snoozy Tail leads you back down the tree now, squirrelling and snuffling down to the entrance of a foxhole, a foxy burrow at the base of the tree. Little foxy ears poke out before a mischievous young fox quickly appears and then darts away into the night. And now your kind-hearted squirrel friend leads you deeper into the woodland. The air smells fresh and earthy, and every soothing breath and calming step relaxes you more deeply into this wonderful moonlit journey. Snoozy Tail now invites you into her hidden home in the oak tree grove. A cluster of wise oak trees the sages of the ages, so protective of all creatures great and small. Lit by moonlight and shown by starlight, you see that this oak grove is alive with possibility. There are moonflowers unfurling, glowing ferns uncurling, wildflowers sprouting up, and red spotted mushrooms growing slowly right before your very eyes. As if in a dream, suddenly you notice other squirrels popping up in the moonlight. Some behind trees, others inside branches, several amongst bushes, and playing in plants on the forest floor. Your brave, bushy-tailed friend now introduces you to her dozens of cousins. One big squirrel clan, known as a scurry. Which makes sense to you, watching them all scurry about, foraging for the last food of the night before tiredness takes over and it will be time for all to sleep. They wave their bushy tails to you and you swish yours back to this friendly scurry to say hello in reply. T.
Together, you arrive at an oak tree in the very middle of the grove. It looks extra old and gnarled, very ancient and full of wisdom. And now, your new friend, this most creative creature, reveals her squirrel hole inside the tree trunk. A special squirrely hollow, which only squirrels know. And inside this amazing chamber in the tree, are piles of nuts, seeds, and, of course, acorns. Snoozy Tail happily places her new acorn inside, her precious gift from you, on the very top of her pile. Because you see she is storing up for the winter months, ready for a relaxing hibernation. And finally, both feeling very tired now, after a wonderful journey through the hidden forest, Snoozy Tail leads you to her family's nest, known as a dray. This cosy dray is made of a dense ball of interwoven twigs, lined inside with softest moss, lovely leaves, and cushiony fresh grass. Tonight her family, her squirrels scurry, is nesting together to stay so very warm. It looks so inviting and relaxing. And so you both crawl inside, curl up, and begin to fall asleep in this comforting dray, surrounded by squirrel paws and fluffy, puffy tails. You hear the soothing sounds of soft, squirrely snoring. And extra calming, snoozing sounds from Snoozy Tail herself. So you can now understand where she gets her name. And you start sleeping here too. With these cosy and comforting snoozing sounds all around you. Helping you feel so safe and loved to be here, sleeping next to Puffy Mama Squirrel, Fluffy Papa Squirrel, and all of the furry squirrel kids, just happily falling asleep without a care in the world. And you just love dreaming the night away of wonderful adventures in the night forest of your dreams. Feeling so confident in this sleep meditation and happy to be wonderful you. And finally here you drift deeper and deeper into your loveliest sleep. 
because you know you can visit Snoozy Tail, your favourite squirrel friend, for more fun squirrelling adventures, anytime you wish. Sweet dreams, dear child, and good night. Welcome to Happy Minds and this very special sleep meditation for kids, My Place in Space. And you'll want to listen in very carefully because this is set to be your most wonderful, relaxing and fun sleep adventure in the dreamiest realm of enchanting outer space. This bedtime story may surprise you and will definitely delight you as you rest back and listen along with those you love. Close those heavy eyelids of yours and begin to enjoy this darkness. Because this is what outer space is like. Lots of lovely darkness, but with your mind's eye you can still see. There may even be lots of amazing pictures of planets and stars starting to form in your wonderful imagination. Because your very own place in space is waiting just for you to adventure and explore and have so much fun. So breathe in deeply here, all the way down to your belly. And now let the air flow out. Again, take another deep belly breath in through your nose and softly and gently breathe out. Good. One more time, a big breath in and a long breath out. That's fantastic. You're doing this meditation brilliantly. Now just let your breathing go back to its normal rhythm as your whole body goes floppy and relaxes deeper. Well done. Now imagine a beam of enchanting starlight shining down over your whole body. This beautiful white light surrounds you in safety and love and pure peace. With this sparkling light energy all around you, in your heart you begin to feel very powerful and totally confident, like you can do anything. And you really can, because this silvery white light now starts to take the shape of a space suit. A big, puffy, extra comfy astronaut suit. 
with a clear helmet and everything you can imagine. To your surprise, your cosmonaut suit feels very light and weightless, like there is no gravity inside it. And much to your surprise, you begin floating up into the air. This feeling of floating is so relaxing, like pure peace and wonderful fun. And now you realise these sparkles of starlight are carrying you up up and away, out of your bedroom window and towards a spaceship hovering in the air, waiting just for you. You see a most interesting looking creature inside, who could possibly be described as an alien being. But he seems very peaceful, so you prefer to call him your space friend. You try not to stare at his long limbs that look like they're made of jelly, so you look into his huge eyes, shining with kindness and intelligence. His body is almost transparent, translucent actually, with light shining right through it. And a big ball of glowing light where his heart is. And now you hear he speaks to you with his mind telepathically and sends you a message to tell you his special space name and you hear his name very clearly in your mind. So you send him a friendly message telepathically with your mind and introduce yourself to. And now you climb into your seat in the spaceship, right next to your new friend. The controls have fascinating symbols on them, from a different language perhaps from a world you have never seen before. Your space friend takes charge of the controls, and all of a sudden, the ship lurches, taking this dreamy journey all the way out of Earth's atmosphere to infinity and beyond. When you reach space, a beautiful feeling of peace washes over you. You feel so special inside to be taking in the view of the sparkling stars and colourful planets from up close. You look back at Mother Earth, so calm with its blue oceans and green land, smoothly orbiting the sun. Your space friend points one jelly finger to a button with the symbol of what looks like a shooting star. He wishes for you to press this control, feeling very excited 
you press this button. And to your amazement, you have put the ship into light speed. Your spacecraft leaps forwards with full velocity into the cosmos. And now you are travelling at light speed, flying through the universe faster than the eye can see. Through constellations of stars streaking with light, and through glittering portals of rainbow cosmic dust. Until all of a sudden, the ship slows and hovers over a purple planet. Your space friend's favourite planet of all, and now your very own place in space. Two. A most fun place for you both to enjoy wonderful adventures. Your friend lands the ship smoothly onto a big blue rock. With natural crystals glowing all around it. Wow! You both jump out and begin to explore. Looking up at the blue and pink sky, which looks like it's made of magic mist. You reach down to the ground and pick up one of the neon crystals glowing with amazing energy. What a strange and wonderful place this purple planet is. You feel so happy and excited and so welcome here. In your place in space. To your delight, you feel there is less gravity on this planet than Earth. It's more like the moon. Like one big trampoline. And so you bounce and jump with ease. Feeling so free. Your space friend shows you how to pick from the planet's plants, which are full of nutrients and very healthy. Every bite is bursting with delightful flavour. This is even more delicious than Earth's best candy. As you walk about and explore some of the craters, you begin to see some enchanting creatures looking at you curiously from behind rocks and peculiar plants. These animals have fur and skin made of such beautiful colours. You think they have the most different types of bodies, and wings, and arms and legs, and funny little faces, which makes them very cute, and so interesting to look at. Your space friend tells you these creatures are Wombi Wax and Mickey Doggles. 
snoozle coozes and obsy woggles. Fantastic. Amazed to be meeting new animals, you think they are definitely out of this world. You reach out in peace and touch their soft fur. And they honk and giggle in their own funny way. Clearly very happy to be meeting an earthling too. Together you explore mysterious crystal caves. So magnificent they take your breath away. You also discover colourful piles of asteroid rocks with more space symbols of far away planets. And you are always enjoying the low gravity of this surface, with moon jumps and moon walks. Somersaults and high flips. And so much happy fun. Together you have some time now to explore the purple planet some more. And when my voice returns, it will be time to return home to Earth for a lovely night's sleep. After an incredible adventure on the purple planet, your special place in space, you know it is time to return home. Your space friend is ready for sleep too. 
So together you wave goodbye to your new animal friends and hop back inside the waiting spaceship. As the craft hovers up into the air, leaving this amazing planet far below, you get ready to push the light speed control to fly you back to Earth. And now, with the push of a button, the spaceship lurches through the air, flying home at light speed, all the way past the stars and planets, past the moon, and now back into Mother Earth's atmosphere. where everything slows down once more. Your space friend gently steers the ship down, down, downwards and down, over your town, and back outside your bedroom window. You say thank you in your heart for such a wonderful adventure. And he tells you telepathically that you are always welcome to fly with him on more space travels in the future. And now, in the beams of magical starlight, you float back into your room, where your spacesuit dissolves into cosmic dust. And so you hop inside the covers of your warm, safe, cosy bed. As your head touches the pillow, you fall deeply asleep, dreaming of stars and planets and friendly creatures which are out there in this peaceful, loving universe, knowing that your very own place in space is waiting for you to visit any time you wish. So now, drifting deeper and deeper into your blissful sleep, you feel so happy and loved. Because you know you can continue your brilliant star travels in your calming, soothing, dreamy sleep anytime you wish. Sweet space adventure dreams.